Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking Jalen Hurts. Um, he's the trending topic today of the NFL. No Jimmy G, I don't want Jimmy G. No Juju Smith-Schuster, don't want him. And uh, let's talk about it. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, so I seen something yesterday. I wanted to make a video on it yesterday, but I just didn't have the time. Uh, according to Fox News, Eagles are expected to pursue um, pursue Jimmy G. You know, people get wrapped up in his stats a lot. Um, his individual stats are not that good. I think he was 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. And that's just passing. And according to Jalen Hurts passing, he was 16 touchdowns and nine interceptions. So I don't really see like a big difference there in the arm talent or anything like that. Um and to me, Jalen Hurts is a bigger threat than Jimmy Garoppolo. And a lot of people will say, well, Jimmy Garoppolo record is this. And he got two Super Bowl rings he didn't contribute to. He's just a winner. I don't really know that about Jimmy Garoppolo, man. He went to the Super Bowl while he started and lost um, when the game was on the line. I think Kyle Shanahan is just one hell of a coach who could implement that run game. You got Debo Samuels. It was spectacular the way he used his skill set, the way he used the running backs. Um, and he's just his trick plays. His play designs are very, very, very good. So if you decide to put Jalen Hurts in that offense and then Jalen Hurts with his legs, they probably will go back to the Super Bowl if we was to make that trade. And I could see us being stagnant. Plus, if we take on Jimmy G, he's $26 million. I think he had $26 million cap hit. I could be wrong, um, but I think he's $26 million cap hit. Um, and then he only got one year left, so we will have to extend that. But if we make that happen, I'm assuming Howie Roseman will fix up the contract, make it away, it won't hit so hard. And um I, I'm rocking with Jalen Hurts, man. That I say that to say this. I'm rocking with Jalen Hurts. I mean, if you could get like Aaron Rodgers, it's gonna be hard to be mad at that. It's gonna be really hard to even be mad at Russell Wilson. I get it, but when you start going Jimmy G and all these other guys, I don't know about that. And even with those like Aaron Rodgers guys, like Aaron Rodgers been on the um, Green Bay, and he's on the NFC. He won one Super Bowl. He'll get us to the playoffs. But how many playoff games he'll win? Russell Wilson will get us to the playoffs. But how many playoff games will he win? Come on, these dudes, we've seen them in the playoffs. They choke artists. They choke artists, man. And um, I'd rather just rock with my guy. And, and if he fails and he proves me wrong that he's just not good, why not just go into the draft and get another quarterback? These old guys not getting it done. These dudes not getting it done. And they be like, what about Matthew Stafford, this and that? Well, Matthew Stafford is a special case because that team was ready. That team was ready. And the Eagles, when I look at our roster, we don't have no Aaron Donald. Um, we don't have the secondary that they have. We don't have the talent on the outsides that they have. And to me, despite uh, Matthew Stafford, they still went far. I mean, Matthew Stafford had a good season in the beginning of the season, but the way he ended the season, if you look at his numbers in the Super Bowl, they was not great. They was that they, they were not great at all. He was just better than Jared Goff. He like the same stuff people saying for Jimmy G. You can make the same case for Jared Goff. Well, Jared Goff, he did this and with the Rams. They didn't have a losing season, this and that. Put him in the Lions. Put him with the Lions. He won about like two games. I mean, come on. Jimmy G played for the Patriots. And Bill Belichick looked out for him so much, he took less for the 49ers because he wanted to see that man succeed. He knew the 49ers was a great organization, and he was right. He was right. So, um... Once again, I say that to say this. I would rather keep Jalen Hurts. I mean, it's funny that he's the trending topic today because, because of these BS trade rumors. I mean, 
They're not going to go away to next season. I would say after the draft, I could still see us drafting some guys. And then you'll we'll still see Jalen Hurts is on the market. I mean, uh, you still going to be seeing the same rumors until something happened. Um, but how we created that environment. So all I can say is hopefully Jalen Hurts can get better, progress. And that season, you know, if we win this playoff game and our talent get better, what do you say then? Say we win a playoff game and get knocked out the next one. What do you say? You got to keep Jalen Hurts again. Um. Also, Juju Smith-Schuster. No. No. No, 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 no. Since AB left that man, Juju haven't been the same. His numbers decline every single year. Was since 2018? His numbers been declining. Can't stay healthy. Um, he do a bunch of TikTok dances all day. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Is he, honestly, is he really better than Quez Watkins? Is he really, I mean, he's better than Rager, but is he really better than, like, Quez Watkins? Can he come in and be a number two or a number one? I don't think so. I, and I'm keeping it a buck. And if you do bring him in, bring him into a one-year prove it deal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't play all the games last season. Dude can't stay healthy, plays around. He don't take the game, to me, serious enough. And I'd just rather keep the guys we got and just go into the draft and get one of those guys. Or oh, I like I like Chark. I, I would rather have Chark. I'd rather go get Mike Williams. I'd rather go get a lot of other people, even a couple people from the draft, than bring Juju Smith-Schuster. I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, the numbers say it. The uh, play on the field say it. Him as a number one. It took them to get Chase Claypool to step up to be that guy. Juju is not that guy. Juju is not that guy. And um, if we sign him and we give him money, I know what Eagles fans are going to expect for him to be that guy. And no, no Juju, no Jimmy G. Nah, and uh, get off my guy Jalen Hurts. But what do you think and how do you feel, feel man? Is Jalen Hurts that guy? Um, should we get Juju? Should we get Jimmy G? But this is Alcabana Analyst. Ghost.